There's something nasty about this place. Yannick? <gasps> this is the second time you have come to my place without asking. What are you looking for here? A painting? A cadaver? Or just death? Death will come looking for me anyway. I don't need to tempt it. That is what I have been told. But even the Grim Reaper needs a hand sometimes. You're not going to have your way, Yannick. You're going... If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it a long time ago. But he decided otherwise. And I submit to his will. His will? You believe in God? <laughs> you are a funny one. I was talking about my master, Dracula. How does Dracula know me? Dracula knows everyone. You probably just can't imagine how powerful he is. So you're the one who painted his portrait? Yes, a few centuries ago. I think I can say that it is my masterwork. Have you seen it? I even restored it. Vanbury covered it with tar. I think he was scared of it. He is right. The one who has the mirror of the master lives on borrowed time. The mirror? I'm sure you know that we can't see our reflections in mirrors. This portrait shows the master just as he is. I thought that it might be Dracula's weakness. You have been reading too many gothic novels. Dracula is not Dorian Gray. This portrait is not a reflection of Dracula's soul. It is his mirror, as well as the window through which he sees the world. So why was the portrait stolen? The thief must have been mistaken about the nature of the painting, or he is expecting something in exchange. Ellen, what do you think Stoker wants? I heard that you knew him well. If you have seen his portrait, he has seen you through the portrait. But I don't need to tell you that. You already knew that, right? I can't believe it. Excessive skepticism is a modern scourge that can be as dangerous as blind faith. Take it from someone who has a lot of experience. What do you know about the Shadow of the Dragon? Exactly what you know, I think. It is a secret society that Dracula's brother founded to destroy him. And your friend is the heir, right? Adam is not my friend. You are right. I am afraid that he is much more than just a friend. What are you going to do with the child? What? You might not know it yet, but you are carrying Adam's child, Ellen. Vampires can feel these kinds of things. You're pulling my leg. You are bearing the future heir of a dark order that is doomed to failure. Even if you're right, I won't live long enough to bring it into the world. You are probably right. A pregnancy could actually make your condition degenerate more quickly. But human nature is such that people end up fighting for lost causes. So before going on your way, I wanted you to have all the cards in your hand. How do I know if I can trust you? You should actually be asking what I could gain from lying to you. 
Do these verses sound familiar? With the blood of Lilith, the first was created, who will not be troubled by any of his children. With the blood of Lilith, another will come into being, who will reign over the world in turn. These verses epitomize our common condition. Dracula is our father. No vampire born of his blood can vanquish him. What do you mean? Only a vampire born of the blood of Lilith, of a new lineage, could rival him. Was Lilith the first vampire? Of course not. It is just a metaphor. The first woman of creation was not Dracula's mother. Dracula, grief-stricken, drank the blood of his wife. And that is actually how he was transformed. So the prophecy refers to the few drops of this blood that he still keeps around his neck. If anyone gets hold of it and drinks it, they will have the power to overcome Dracula and to enslave vampires and humans. So that's what the Shadow of the Dragon is striving to do? Exactly. I must find Dracula. I think he is waiting for you. Where? I do not have the faintest idea. I am just his portrait painter and forger from time to time. I don't know where his hideout is. Can the portrait tell us where he is? No. The portrait shows the dragon in the form in which he wanted to portray himself. The portrait helps you to recognize him, but it does not show you where you can find him. But I may have another solution. According to an old Slavic tradition, you can track someone down by drawing a map with some of the person's blood. I might have a few drops of his blood left. I put some of his blood in the paint I used for his portrait. But how do we mix it? An old antique dealer sold me a copper cylinder that has the recipe. I must have put it in the alchemy section. Where can I find the paint that has Dracula's blood? I don't know. It has been such a long time. But I usually put the vials in chronological order. So... You painted his portrait in the 16th century? Yes, I must have used the same paint base that I prepared for Da Vinci. And I think that I used a bit in the deep red that I prepared for Bruegel, the one he used to paint Hell. Well, isn't that surprising? I sense a hint of sarcasm in your comment. I've come to the right place. Sure. Enough said. I really need to feed. Even if your illness makes you less appetizing, we must not tempt the devil, dear. I've never seen so many different paints and pigments. I have to admit that I have had time to accumulate the rarest of essences. At one time, people came from afar to purchase my paint. Did you work for all the masters whose names are on these vials? You are jealous, aren't you? Do you really think that the almost magical aura of some works is the fruit of just one man's talent? Only the raw essence can give soul to inanimate objects. I'm not sure I understood. Of course you have. Each of these paints contains the blood of a man, a woman, or even a vampire. This is the price of what you call soul, my dear. 
You will understand this soon enough. According to Yannick's explanation, Dracula's blood must be in a vial between Da Vinci and Bruegel. Da Vinci? Michelangelo? Raphael? Dracula's blood sample must be around here. To my favorite portrait painter. As henceforth, our destinies are forever entwined. 1507 D. I can't believe the magic of his paintings comes from these vials. Da Vinci didn't need that. Dracula's blood.